What's up, you guys? It's the Shader Gamer back with another video, back with another banger. Look, you guys, hit the subscribe button and join the Shady team today because on this channel we cover multiverses, news, and other topics as well. And as y'all can see, you know, me and Turtle in the Bat Cave. Hopefully, Batman help us out and don't get mad that we're here. But hey, look, you know, we're still traveling through the multiverse. Anyway, you guys, let's get right on to the video. So, you guys, I'm not sure if y'all seen the video that I did. I did a video talking about character news for the open beta. Now you guys, a lot of people are really wondering what other characters is going to make it into multiverses. Now there is one character that I think is probably confirmed for the game. Now how confirmed, I don't know, but I'm more sure about this character than any other character that a lot of other people have been speculating about and all so far. And that is the Green Lantern. Now I'm not sure if you guys seen this, but there was an Easter egg in the Multiverse Cinematic trailer where it showed the Green Lantern personal battery lantern thing he used to charge his ring on the ground. As y'all can see, I got it up on the screen for y'all to see. It's right there. Now you might be wondering, why am I so sure that I think he's confirmed for the game? As a matter of fact, I'm so sure that I think he's going to be confirmed for possibly the open beta, which I could be wrong, but I'm sure that he might be in the open beta. And the reason why is because of the video that I did while I was talking about characters for the open beta. Now, this is the thing when it comes to Green Lantern. I feel like he is really perfect for this game. And you might be wondering, why do I think that as well? I'm going to tell y'all why. Now, it really comes down to what Green Lantern should be in the game. Some people will say Hal Jordan, which I understand that. That probably would be the best choice. Some people will probably say Jon Stewart. Jon Stewart is my favorite Green Lantern. But Kyle Rayner may be the best choice for a Green Lantern character for this game. And this is why I'm saying him. Because this is the thing. He could be any Lantern that he want to be. I'm not sure if y'all seen it in the comics or whatever. He have access to all the powers. He could be the Green Lantern. He could be the Red Lantern. He could be the Yellow Lantern. Any color Lantern I have, he can be that Lantern. Just about. And the thing is this, is that that works perfect for a game like this. Because guess what? This game has a lot of cosmetics. So imagine if you give like a base Kyle Rayner, let's say it just be the green one because that's the obvious one because you see the Green Lantern Easter egg in the trailer, right? Guess what? That leaves more cosmetics for all the other ones, the red one, the blue one, so on and so forth. Now also, I do want to bring this up as well. I do want to bring this up. Now the thing is this, so you see the personal Green Lantern battery charger thing on the ground, right? Now I want y'all to think about this. If you seen the trailer, and if you notice, all the characters was not in the trailer right from the jump. You have Finn appear later on at the end of the trailer. You have Velma appear later on at the end of the trailer. You have Wonder Woman appear right at the end of the trailer. Now, what if the Green Lantern got teleported to the Trophy Edge area where all the characters was at and he just got separated from his battery? Because why would the battery or the battery charger, the Lantern thing, why would it just appear all by itself? To me personally, that don't make no sense. It could just, oh, just appear there all by itself. But more than likely, if you ask me, I think he probably just got separated from it and just landed right there. And honestly, I think this confirmed him for the game. I really think he's going to show up in the open beta, but may maybe, just maybe he might show up in the official release of the game sometime later on. But I think that's coming. Imagine a Green Lantern event. I can imagine that. That would make a lot of sense to me. But look, you guys, I want y'all to do me a favor. I want y'all to comment down below and let your boy know what do you think about the Green Lantern Easter Egg? Do you think he's one of the confirmed characters coming to multiverses? I think so. And I think Kyle Rayner might be the best choice for this. But I want to hear your opinion on which one should be in. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share the video, and also subscribe and join the Shade Team. Join the Shade Team. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to the Shade Team as always. And I'm out.